Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a while. Um, I have not uploaded a video <laughs> since April 17th. You know? Um, so, yeah, I've been away for four months. Um, I had a really busy summer. I had a really busy summer uh, with the job that I got uh, that you guys saw in earlier post. Things had gotten just really busy uh, last three months. I mean, you know, at the, at the company, I basically, because it's an MSP and, you know, being an MSP, it just, they really ended up liking me and they ended up, I don't want to say it was a promotion because uh, I'm not, I didn't really get a raise or anything like that, but they did um, put me in a position where I am technically making more money and they give me a lot more responsibility um, so I've been on the more project side of things uh, for the business and I've been doing tasks that you know I would 100 with 100% confidence want to say are the task a junior sys admin would be doing so servers, uh, onboarding new clients, right? Setting up network infrastructure, um, SharePoint engineering. I've really, I've been doing it all. Quite literally all, every, I've been touching so much technology, uh, learning so quickly, you know? And best way I can put it is there's a, there's a guy who we brought on and he's been in IT for a while and he was talking to me and he told me, he said, you know, you know more than most people who I know have been in the game for a while. And at your age, that's astonishing. And so, based off what you guys are looking on the screen, what happened, right? I mean, if you look here in the top right, Bachelor's of Science in Computer Science. While I started working there, I kind of had a change of heart in terms of switching from the cybersecurity degree. And number one thing to me is marketability. Although I know that cybersecurity specialists or cybersecurity people in general are in high demand, I was 100% honest with myself, and again, this is my personal opinion. You don't have to take, you know, take it with a grain of salt because I'm not perfect. But I, in my 100% humble opinion, thought that the Bachelor's of Cybersecurity and Information Insurance is a waste of time for people trying to break into technology. I know I'm going to make a lot of people mad with that, but the fact of the matter is job market's not going to change. A lot of these job requirements aren't going to change. We need years of experience. So instead of, and in my personal opinion, I did not like that so much of the course was based off of search, 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 search right? I, <clears throat> the, the only cert I'm still going for uh, that I bought with my own money is a security plus. Because I think the value you can gain from a security clearance, thanks to the Security Plus, is unmatched. I don't think there's any certification out there that will help you make more money after the A+, plus, as much as the Security Plus can. And I say that wholeheartedly. Because you can land a security clearance, uh, a job that will sponsor you for a security clearance with a Security Plus, and you will basically be doing public sector jobs for the government, but making more money because it's the government that's how the government works besides that yeah I switched degrees so I'm doing the bachelor's of science in computer science and I realized that later on if I wanted to I could take any route I want right because my issue with the bachelor's of cybersecurity and information assurance is that at the end of the day although it is a degree you're still kind of locked into that because of your degree right you're not going to be able to go and branch out it's kind of like oh, okay you're going to stay in network you're either going to go networking or you're going to go networking with security 
so I thankfully because of the job I've been working I found out that that's not something I really want to do I do love security still but on the job I got to mess out with a lot of things in my own time as well uh, and I really found a liking to automating and coding and I was like you know what I'm gonna do that so as you can see I passed applied probability and statistics this is a class that you still have to take for cybersecurity, uh, the Bachelor's of Cybersecurity and Information Assurance. Man, my advice for that class, first of all, get you one of these, man. Get a calculator you can use on the exam. I bought this, you know, it kind of sucks. I mean, I spent like a hundred bucks, but I'm probably going to end up using it in the other math classes. So I thought, you know, w w worthwhile investment. Should have bought one in high school, but it's whatever. I bought a uh, TI-84 Plus. And I don't remember uh, if this one's like a specific model or... Yeah, I just bought a TI-84 Plus off Amazon. 100 bucks right there. And this thing... Uh, algebra's kind of already fresh in my mind since I took it at my old college. So a lot of the algebra was really easy. Because algebra is kind of like common sense really if you think about it. It's just a really simple rules you have to follow. And if you follow them... You pretty much gonna solve any equation right um it's just the order is the difficult thing for most people is the order of operations right but anyways before i start nerding out so what i would recommend get yourself a ti-84 plus this is literally my three-step process for passing the class get a ti-84 plus use notion okay i took notes on all the modules i'll log in right now so i can show you guys one second. Let's log in with my account. So I would say use Notion. Notion single single headedly is one of the best note taking tools out there. Um, me personally, I've switched to Obsidian uh, because I like. The decentralization of it you know it's not stored in the cloud it's stored on my personal device um but for taking coding notes i have found of this apparatus called gitbook gitbook is really good i haven't used it yet but i'm probably going to use it for this next class you can pretty much notate coding you can notate uh code very well like it lets you notate any type of code okay here i loaded so you see c955 statistic notes all i did all i did wholeheartedly guys all i did this class was so easy go and start watching the go and start watching the cohorts right so it starts in module three um but that module three cohort also includes the other two modules. Starts in module three, and you can see module four, module five, and I forgot to rename it, but module seven's right here. Module six, module six is in there too, so I think it's right here. I kind of messed up in the painting, but go and do all of these, man. Um, go and just watch the videos, take notes on it. While you're watching the cohorts, it lets you. Um, it, it, they give you a chance to do problems uh, and how to solve them and you can do a couple on your own and I'll show you guys right now I mean I, I took the uh, the pre-assessment yesterday and I'll show you guys the coaching report for that so my pre-assessment report for this hopefully I'm not showing nothing I'm not supposed to but um, yeah so fractions estimates and percentages 4% did amazing basic algebra I did amazing I'm always been good at algebra uh, whatever this is, description is for a single variable, competent correlation and regression, 22%. I did really good on that. I could, that's really easy. Probability, I did okay on. Probability is, def probability is the hardest thing we'll come across uh, in this because of the formulas. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's how you pass that. Watch the cohorts, take notes, buy a TI-84 Plus if you can. You don't have to, but I would recommend it mixing so much like makes life so much easier also learn how to use it too. learn how to turn decimals into fractions um and yeah this thing will 
save your life, man. I mean, this thing would be lifesaver. Um, and besides that, the rest of the course is really common sense. So that was that. That took me... I started the course... I started the semester a bit late. I started the term on 8-12, August 12th, because there was an issue with me being transferred over to, to the computer science program. So I didn't start this course until 12 days into my term. I lost two weeks. I kind of, I'm kind of pissed about that. But, I mean, I was able to finish it in two weeks. Um, so, yeah, 13 days. 13 days I was able to finish it. And, quite honestly, if I wasn't so busy with work and I didn't get so lazy and procrastinate sometimes because I'm tired after work, I could have done this in definitely a weekend. 100% this would have been able to do, uh, been finished in one weekend. It's not hard. So, again, I'll repeat it. Watch the cohorts. Take uh, Notion. Take notes on Notion. And if you can, buy a TI-84. Take the pre-assessment, whatever you're lacking in, go back and watch the cohorts. And after that, take the pre-assessment again if you want, or go straight for the objective assessment. Whatever fancies your pickle. But yeah, that was not that bad of a class. Um, and I think that's it, guys. I mean, if you guys have any questions on specifically why I switched to computer science, I just think it's a better degree overall. That's just me. Um... Employers aren't looking to hire people who just have certs. Employers are looking to hire people who can learn on the job. That was my biggest learning. The biggest thing I learned. They're looking for people with experience. If I'm getting experience at my current job, why would I keep going to the route of the bachelor's of computers, you know, bachelor's of cybersecurity, if most of those certs, right, most of the certs either way aren't certs that you're supposed to take, like, to get a job, most of those search are search you get to verify that you know how to do this, which can only be done through experience. That's the whole thing with certifications. They're not for teaching, they're for reinforcing what you already know based off of what you learn on the job. Because no matter what, what I've learned is landing the cyber internship is really, you, you have to get really lucky. You really do. I think Day Cyberwalk said it best. He got really lucky. I, I don't know if you guys know who Day is. He is a YouTuber who went to WGU, and I think he did the, um, I think he did the cloud computing degree. I don't think he did cybersecurity. And he said it best. He said he got really lucky with his role, and don't expect to end up in the position he did, uh, which he's a cloud security. He's a cloud something. Uh, I'm sorry I'm forgetting, but he does security in the cloud, and, you know, I just, I had a wake-up call. Um, they say the demand is high, but really the demand is high for experienced professionals. You're not looking for newbies, you're looking for experienced professionals. So, it's more of senior-like positions, right, that are really, there's a big gap there for. Um, but the level to entry into cyber is pretty high. And... I was like, okay, if cyber doesn't work out, I don't want to have a degree that's just in cyber because I don't want to do networking because to me, networking is, yes, it's hard, but that's not really something I'm super interested in. I do like setting up switches and configuring them and dealing with network issues like I do now, but when it comes to, I guess, like being in a knock and such, I wouldn't be interested in that. Um, but yeah, I know it's been a while. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And best thing I can say is I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.